Hey, what's happening everybody? I know that you're used to seeing me doing my Elvis workshop videos. Today, I'm doing a cooking video because I love to cook, so I have my proper attire on. And I'm going to cook a chuck roast on the Traeger grill. I'm gonna smoke it, it's gonna be great. Um, so I wanna go over, I don't have the meat out here because the flies are out in full force. I'll get it in a minute. Um, but I wanna show some of the spices that I use and show the, the preparation that I use for the meat and then throw it on here and get cooking. But let's start, let's get going the right way. There we go, how's that, that'll work. Now it won't get dirty. So let's talk about the spices that I use and then like I said, I'll go get the meat. So one thing is, is, is in um, um, 2006 when Hurricane Katrina hit New Orleans, I went to uh, New Orleans to do hurricane recovery work and it was there that I discovered how great Creole food is. Since then I've used this ever since. I just said the same thing twice, right? Since then, ever since. Anyway, I've used this on just about anything. You can use this on your eggs, any kind of meat, any kind of any kind of food at all. Basically, this goes on. So I had just a da just a dash of that. I've got some lemon pepper, McCormick. Got a little bit of Montreal steak seasoning and a little bit of garlic powder. I do not use garlic salt because there's salt in all the other stuff, and I don't want too much salt taste. I don't want it to turn bitter on me or too salty. And then later I'm gonna wrap the meat. I'll show you that, but I wanna talk about that right now. You don't wanna use substitutes for butcher paper. So the first one that everybody grabs is of course aluminum foil. Don't use this because it doesn't let the moisture out enough and it turns your meat into basically a soggy soup. So this is great for cooking, but not in this instance. So leave the tin foil out when you're doing the smoking. The next thing is a lot of people will open up their drawer and say, well, man, I don't have butcher paper, but..." I've got parchment paper and I cook cookies on this, I put it in the oven, I can boil with this, I can do whatever, it doesn't burn up. Maybe I can just use this. This is not the right thing, don't use it. Just go to the store. Get you some butcher paper. So this is um, tan, the, the brown butcher paper. Um, they have white and uh, pink. Don't I don't use the white one, it has bleach in it, I'm sure it's totally fine, but I just don't, I just don't prefer it. So. Um, this one is the tan one, so use the proper butcher paper. Okay, so I'm gonna go get the meat. I'm gonna turn on the turn on the smoker here. I'll go over temperature and time and all that good stuff. And uh, let's do this. Let's get cooking. All right. So the next step is to go ahead and turn on the trigger. I've got it set at 225 degrees. It needs to preheat, and then we get ready to throw the meat on there and get cooking. Next, here's our roast, ready to go. A couple things about this. One is you don't want to cover this this piece of meat completely with spices. It locks it in to where the juices can't come out properly. So you don't want to just coat it so much that you can't see the meat. It's a big, nice, thick cut. Look at that. That is beautiful. Um, and uh, the second thing is you don't want to take it out of the refrigerator and throw it right on the grill because it's just cold or the smoker is just cold and uh, it cooks unevenly. So you wanna set it out on the counter for a couple of hours beforehand, spice it up, and you see how nice and wet that looks? When those spices hit that meat, it draws out that moisture and it turns it into a perfect cut of meat for you. So you wanna bring it out, let it get room temperature, throw some spices on there and let it just sit on the counter and ferment for a little while. So the smoker's almost ready. Look at that smoke coming up off there already. Meat's ready to go, let's get at it. Okay, so the smoker is ready to rock and roll. So we're gonna take the meat and just throw it right on the grill. Grab that piece there, throw one there. Look how thick that cut of meat is, wow. Throw that one there. Next thing is temperature. You want this to cook to, until the, the, the centermost piece of the meat is at 225 degrees. So I'm gonna pop that in there, right there like that second one on this grill put it in again the thickest piece of the meat typically right in the center and then you're just gonna wait once it reaches 225 degrees you can have a nice bark on the outside of this thing it's gonna look great it's gonna smell great and then it'll be ready for the next step so I'll see you in a couple hours another little trick you can do is get a baking pan and put blazing hot water in here and then throw it on the smoker what it does is as the water, the smoke will evaporate the water out, it will keep moisture in your meat and keep it from being dried out. So you want it to be really hot water. You don't just want to put straight tap water. 
because it'll take a long time for the smoker to heat that water up before it starts evaporating. So when you put this pan on here, you want it nice and hot right off the get-go. So let's go ahead and open this up. Look at that smoke already. And then just take this hot pan, and I'm just gonna set it right on the top right there. And that smoke will come up and keep that water nice and hot and it'll start evaporating it and keep that moisture in there. Another little tip. I made a little mistake on my last clip. I said we wanted to get the meat to 225. It's actually 170 before we wrap it. The temperature for the Traeger is 225. So right now I'm just gonna check the meat temperature. We're at uh, 123 on the first one. And 116 on the second one. I don't want to open this up too much. You don't want to shock it with the cool air. Let's give it a quick look just because we're here and making this video. Looking good. All right, we'll be back in a little bit. We're trying to get to 170 degrees. Just checking in on it. About an hour and a half later, smoke is just billowing out of there. We're at about 153 degrees. Trying to get up to that 170 mark. And we'll wrap it up and throw it back on. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is get my side ready. I love asparagus and it's also great on the smoker. So I've already washed the asparagus. You can see the water there, let's get rid of that. Wow. So I washed it, I like to cook it in a baking pan like this. So I'll show you what I do. Um, first, I go into the house and grab a knife. All right, once I get my supplies that I should have had before I started the video, I like to take off about the first three inches or the last three inches of the asparagus because um, it just doesn't cook well. It's hard. It doesn't taste good. It's just not, it's not a good part of the uh, asparagus. So I just take that right straight off. And then I'm just going to throw it right back in the pan from whence it came. This can go in the trash. There we go. All right. Now, how to cook cooked smoked asparagus. Very simple process. I put a little bit of canola oil, just a little bit. You don't want to flood it. I put a little bit of Tony's that I talked to you about earlier in the video, just a little bit. It's a little bit more than a little bit. That's all right. One of my secret ingredients, ground mustard. I love, 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 love ground mustard. holes need to be bigger it doesn't want to come out right it's a constant battle every time with the ground mustard I love ground mustard then you can never go wrong with garlic powder all right then you take it mix it all up make sure everybody gets a little touch just a little bit on each piece The canola oil makes it moist in the bottom so when it touches it, all the dry spices attach to the asparagus. So that's what that's for. And then the last thing I do, the last little ingredient that I put is a half a stick of butter and I just drop it right on there. When I throw it into the smoker, it's gonna melt and go all through this. Perfect. So it just goes just like that, right onto the grill. All right, let's take this asparagus over and get it right on the smoker. I'm just gonna open it just long enough to throw this on. Oh, look at there. Just throw that on there and it'll stay on there for about an hour and a half. I'll see you in a little bit. By the way, we're at about 163. It's taken a long time to get where we need, but that's good, slow cook. Okay, I just checked the temperature. See the smoke just billowing out. I've got one at 173 and one at 169, so close enough to 170. So we're gonna pull both of these off. I'm just gonna open this up here, take out the thermometers. I'm just gonna take these out, put them in this bowl, and then I'm gonna shut it. So I don't let all my heat escape. All right, now I'm gonna wrap them up. Again, as a reminder, don't use aluminum foil or anything else other than butcher paper. So get you 
a box of this. You can find it right next to the aluminum foil. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just pull a piece off here. Let's take this baby right here. Wrap it up. Number one. By the way, I make sure I always wash my bowl. I bring out the raw meat. After I put it on the grill or the smoker, I wash it. I use it during the cook, but I always have it clean. Okay, so there's the two pieces of meat. I'm gonna throw them right back on the grill now. All right, let's get these things placed back on the grill. Get ready for the home stretch here. Number one. Number two. Now, I need to try to get this placed back in about the middle, which is typically the thickest part. Now, I'm gonna just let that cook until it's 190 degrees. So I'll just be checking in a couple hours and we'll be good to go. So we're still cooking away. We're at about 176 degrees on both of them. Sun's getting ready to go down. You can see the lights changing. It's been smoking all day long um, that's one thing you want to keep in mind is it's not about time it's about temperature you want to get it to 190 degrees and it doesn't matter how long it takes so the this trigger grill itself is set for 225 I'm trying to get that internal meat temperature to 190 it doesn't matter if it takes an hour or 10 hours that's the key um, when I cook hamburgers any kind of steak anything I don't do it by time I just do it by when it's done so that's what we're doing here and it's been cooking since this morning at about 10 o'clock and it's uh, almost six o'clock at night now so it's been going all day this is going to be fantastic i wish youtube had a, a scratch and sniff because <laughs> if you could smell this look at that smoke if you could smell this you would know what i'm enjoying right now that is amazing it smells so good out here so it's not time it's temperature you want to get your internal meat to the temperature that's desired and that's when you turn it off. Okay, another hour has gone by. I'm gonna go ahead and just stir the asparagus a little bit to make sure that every piece gets a little bit of the butter. And here we go, look at that, nice and soft. Just like to mix it up a little bit. That's the latest update. All right, final stretch. I'm sure you're probably tired of looking at this Traeger logo constantly. Uh, the temperature is now at 190 degrees. Let's go ahead and take a look. Right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it down to 180. And it's going to rest for an hour. So basically, I'm not adding any additional heat. I'm going to give it one more hour to break up the connective tissues and the fat. Let it melt down so it falls apart. Be ready to sit on the counter and get to room temperature and ready to chew. So the next video should be me taking them off the grill. It is full on nighttime out here. Look at that. This thing has been going all day. We are finally done. So I'm gonna turn off the smoker, open this sucker up. There's our two pieces of meat wrapped up in the butcher paper. And we got the asparagus. I'm gonna take this off and get ready to cut it up. Let's do it. All right, time to take it off. So first of all, look at my pan of water. There's next to no water left, but look how smoky looking it is. Now, that was clean water, you saw that earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. Take this off. I'll do that separately. I'll see you in the kitchen. All right. Here we go, fresh off the Traeger grill. Gonna open this bad boy up. Take a look, ooh, man, that's hot, 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 woo. Let's pull this open, take a look. 
Oh man, look at that. Look at that. Got two of them here. That is beautiful. All right. So they've been resting for an hour on the smoker at 100 and I think 18 degrees. Some kind of degrees. I always forget the degrees. I'm going to carve these up and check out the smoke ring. Let's check it out. Oh, wow. Now, the, the, this poker right here just fell right in there. Look at that. Check out that smoke ring. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm going to have to eat that. <laughs> that didn't make it 20 seconds on the cutting board. Look at that. It's just falling apart. Look at that smoke ring. Oh, boy. That is amazing. Let me just do a quick plating. <clears throat> Look at that asparagus there. I love it nice and soggy and limp. I don't like the stiff asparagus. Look at that. Took all day to cook. Got to pretty it up. Worth every second. There is the finished product. Thanks for watching. Look at that smoke ring. Oh, I wish you were here, but if you were, I wouldn't let you have any because that's mine. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and until next time, this is uh, Smoking in Vegas.